Hi, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. Today's subject is how to do Japanese style cast ons on passive machines. They're not in the manual, but it doesn't mean you can't do them. And knowing this will greatly expand the possibilities for enjoying your passive. Sometimes on a passive machine, you want to start with an E-wrap because that's what's in the pattern and it's not what our machine does very well. I have already shown you how to do an E-wrap and manually knit the first row so that the passive locks will knit the following rows beautifully. Here's an alternative. This is the double E-wrap. We start with the yarn loop knotted onto the end of the yarn. The yarn is pulled through the eyelet. Let me adjust it so you can see. And this is the slack I'm using is coming through the eyelet. Now let's place this on needle one on the left. Go under two needles over and knit the first needle through. There's now a true stitch on there. Under two over one into the first one on the left and knit it through. Try to make your stitches very even. If you need to, you can make a little piece of cardboard to put behind the needle butts back in here so that you have an automatic stop that evens up the stitches. But honestly, you can get pretty used to doing this and feel for it. I'm doing it with my fingertips and getting a good enough job done. And the last one. Now we have a complete row of normal stitches that should knit off just fine with our black strippers. So I would insert them, make sure all the slack is pulled out of the, the yarn all the way back to the tensioner so that this is just doing its normal job and go ahead and knit. And now you can start your pattern, whatever it may be. By the way, if you were trying to use a pattern that was written for a Japanese machine on your passive, I almost always recommend using the back bed as your main bed. That means the directions will be correctly oriented and it will be so much simpler for you.